G'day, how the bloody hell are you? It is Cracker Fruity, and it feels like it's been so long since I've actually just done a normal commentary. I've been putting a bit of uh, stuff like stream highlights, Twitch stream highlights, and just highlights from games I've been playing with friends, that sort of thing. That's been going along fine, but uh, I guess I kind of felt like I needed to explain to you guys why um, I have been sort of absent and yeah, maybe not as active or not my usual channel self. So, yeah, I kind of just feel like my channel at the moment, and, and maybe YouTube in general, is just in a bit of a lull, a bit of a dead spot at the moment. Um, whilst we're all waiting for new games to come out, and there's so many new massive titles um, on the horizon, ready to come out in the next few months. We've also got the consoles coming out in the next few months. They're just around the corner. So, what I've noticed, I can only speak for my own, um, or of my own experience, of course, but what I've noticed is that a lot of the games that I've been posting and putting up, they're just not, you know, really getting a hugely great response to them. So, yeah, I'm talking about games like um, Armor 2, Armor 3, the Wasteland series I sort of started to do. Yeah, those videos take so much time there. You have to play for two or three hours. Uh, and sometimes you can play for two or three hours and it's it's useless, it's not worth anything. Um, but then you've got to go through and edit, if you do have a good couple of hours, you've got to go through and edit that into a video. And I tried to sort of run it as a bit of a storyline and have some good highlights, you know, that sort of thing. I was, was really proud of my uh, last couple of Wasteland videos I put up, but yeah, they, they weren't getting a lot of views. And that kind of goes for a lot of the games. Yeah, you know, I, I sort of fell back onto Battlefield 3 because... Yeah, the other games I was posting really weren't getting a huge amount of views, so I fell back to Battlefield 3, uh, and even that now seems to seems to be getting a bit long in the tooth, as the saying goes. The game is now, what, two years old at least, um, or coming up on two years, maybe in October. So, yeah, people have played it. There's not much original I can do with it anymore, and, uh, and you can tell in my view count, because where I used to be getting really great views off Battlefield 3, I'm not so much anymore. And... Don't get me wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to make myself sound like I'm just a view whore, and yeah, you know, I'm only putting videos up to get loads and loads of views. And if I can't get that, I don't bother. That that's not what it's about at all. But the reality is, with so much effort that goes into making the videos, and um, the the time that sort of gets poured into making the videos, yeah, if no one's watching it, I'm not really helping anybody because it means my effort's kind of wasted because no one's watching it. Um, but it also means that you guys aren't obviously aren't getting what you want to watch. And obviously I'm all about giving you guys what you want to watch. That's what it's all about. Um, yeah, the whole reason I do YouTube or decided to start YouTube is um, for two main reasons. One, um, I really enjoy making videos. I sort of used to make real life videos. Uh, video games is easier because your content's there. It's available. You can do it whenever you want. You don't have to go out on special adventures to film you know, motorbike, mountain bike footage, whatever. Um, the other reason is because I like entertaining people. I sort of like to produce entertaining things. And, um, you know, I, I'm not in it all about the money or anything like that. But if no one's watching the videos, then, you know, it's kind of kind of hard to get motivated to keep making them. So I guess I thought what I'd do here is, um, rather than just whinge about it the whole time, because that's not my intention either, um, well, I'll tell you what games I sort of am playing at the moment. Uh, I've, I've been playing a lot of Torchlight 2 lately. Uh, I really love that game. It's fantastic. Yeah, I've had such a big break um, since Diablo 3. A game that kind of pissed me off anyway. I really think Torchlight 2 is probably a better game than Diablo uh, in so many ways. And because I've had such a big break from Diablo 3, it hasn't felt like... Um, well, it kind of felt like I've had a nice long break and now I'm sort of playing a whole new game, but similar, the same sort of thing. You get what I mean if you've played both games, but anyway, loving that. It's another game I really don't think will go that well on YouTube because it's an old game and, um, you know, it, even if you look at Twitch, things like that, it's rarely streamed. It's just not a popular game. Uh, I'm also playing a lot of Borderlands 2. I, I really love that game. I played it on the PlayStation 3 quite a lot. I think I'm level 47. But I've kind of run out of people to play it with on um, PS3, and it's it's nowhere near as fun without friends. Uh, it's also a hell of a lot harder. So I've got it on PC. I'm trying to speed run through at the moment, just get my levels up so I can start True Vault Hunter mode, get through that. And I've got uh, a heap of friends in the Ultimate Vault Hunter mode who are kind of always playing it and doing the DLC, that sort of thing. It really appeals to me, but um, it's kind of hard. I'm level 20 already off not many hours, so I'm doing well, but... 
yeah, anyway, trying to power through Borderlands 2, another game I don't think would go that well on YouTube, because it is an old game, and, yeah, unless you've sort of established yourself already as a Borderlands 2 specialist, people just don't seem to be getting a huge amount of views. So what to do? Um, the other thing I have been doing is playing a heap of racing games. Uh, you may not be aware, and I will make a special video, uh, I think, specifically about this, so I won't go into too many details now, but I do have a second channel with uh, a friend of mine. It's not really related to this Cracker Fruity channel in any way, actually. It's called Wilborn Racing. Um, I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. So if that's your thing, if you like racing games, um, then definitely go and check that that channel out and obviously hit subscribe. It's mainly simulator races, so um, lots of Formula 1 2012. I'll be getting Formula 1 2013. Uh, I've got some MotoGP 13 up there, R Factor, games like that. Um, not so much your arcade games, so... Anyway, as I say, I'll discuss that in another video. But that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Not so much Battlefield 3. And I don't know what to put up on my channel. I have recently started uh, Skyrim, and I've been streaming that. In fact, I've been doing quite a bit of streaming, because I think, well, if I'm going to play a game, I may as well stream it. And if people want to jump in, join, chat, that sort of thing, then... And that's fine. Um, so, yeah, again, get over to my Twitch TV channel. Follow if you haven't already. Uh, but I do understand, obviously, you're all in different time zones to me, or a lot of you are anyway. So it's not always easy, uh, even if you're in the same time zone, to get into a stream and watch it. That's fine, whatever. Um, I'm always doing it. But, in fact, I might even try and stream on YouTube soon-ish. That might be a thing that's going to happen. Uh, but I've been playing some Skyrim. Uh, it's a game I've been wanting to get back to forever because it came out about the same time as Battlefield 3. And uh, I managed to pump about 80 hours into Skyrim super quick. Uh, finished the actual... Uh, obviously, I didn't do it in less than 80 hours, clearly. But <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Within you know, a couple of weeks, I managed to get that in. Finished the main storyline. Um, but I've always wanted to get back and just kind of explore the world and really take Skyrim in for what it is. I finally did that recently on the PS3, just before the summer sale. And, um, and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know, I'm just kind of not feeling consoles, the PS3 at the moment. Yeah, I've got, I've got my new Flash PC and I'm kind of happier sitting on that. It just kind of works in my life a bit better as well. Um, yeah, I can leave, leave the TV for the wife, that sort of thing. But, anyway... Um, not to digress too much, I, I couldn't really get back into Skyrim, which was really disappointing. I picked it up cheap on the summer sale, um, so I've started playing that again, and yeah, I fell straight in love with it again. Uh, I think the change of platform is exactly what I needed to get back into it. Unfortunately, um, I think my next video after this one is going to be uh, my last stream highlight. It's fairly short, it goes for about 17 minutes. And it's the end of my Skyrim, because even though I'm about level 5, for those of you who have played it, um, there's a point where you have to kill your very first dragon um, and get the soul gem or the dragon soul so that you can get your first shout. Well, the game glitches there, and I've loaded from heaps of different saves. Um, the game glitches, I can't carry on, so I'm going to have to start Skyrim again, which is kind of unmotivating. But what I was thinking about doing, because I'll probably stream most of that Skyrim, you know, not as a full walkthrough, but um, I'll stream lots and lots of Skyrim. It's such a big game. So I've kind of been thinking about having like a stream Sunday, for example, where not so much where I stream on the Sunday, but where I upload my video to YouTube. Uh, and it gives you guys the week to watch it, um, because there's not going to be any other streams on YouTube. Uh, hopefully you understand what I mean here. Not actually streaming onto YouTube, but transferring my recorded stream from Twitch over to YouTube uh, each Sunday. Because it gives you guys the opportunity to see it, even if you couldn't make the, the live broadcast. So, I thought I might do that. See what you guys think. Um, you know, I'm interested to hear what you think about that. It might go for an hour, but then you've got a whole week to watch it, because there'll be no more. Maybe you want me to divide it up. Up, you know, put it, put it throughout the week in four or five parts. It's just going to be the one continuous stream, so not separate videos. But I could div divvy it up into 15, 20 minute segments and upload it all week. I don't know, I'm interested to hear what you want to what you want to see. Uh, do you want to see Borderlands 2? Do you want to see Skyrim? Uh, I'm still trying to finish off Call of Juarez and I don't really have a lot of other games at the moment. But oh oh I almost forgot. The Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, I am definitely going to be getting that. I'm going to be pre-ordering that. So moving forward as far as my channel goes, uh, what you can expect to see is obviously a lot of Battlefield 4. That was always going to happen. It's a pretty primarily Battlefield based channel. 
Um, but probably equal parts Battlefield 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5, at least for a little while. Um, even though I just said I'm kind of over playing on consoles and it's not coming out on PC. Uh, but anyway, I'll make a fool of myself by saying that. Whatever. Uh, I will be getting it. I might even get it on Xbox. I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, there seems to be more people playing those sorts of games on Xbox Live than PlayStation. So I might try something different because I'm not feeling the uh, PS3 at the moment. So yeah, you can expect those games at the very least. Right, so anyway, this is just a bit of a rant. Uh, as I say, I'm, I'm always interested to know what you guys think, what you guys would like to see. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to be getting any more games until the the next batch of Battlefield 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5, that sort of thing. But if I've got a game, I'm happy to play it. If you want to see it, if you'd love to see some Borderlands videos or some Skyrim videos, that sort of thing, um, stream highlights, how you'd like to see them, please let me know in the comment section by all means. I think... In, you know, going forward, I'm going to try and at least continue the two-minute topics, um, but I'm having to come up with those myself at the moment, and I'm not a very original guy, believe it or not. So, uh, again, feel free to leave two-minute topic comments. As far as my 100-sub video is going, I've been trying to do something really special for that. It's kind of all gone balls up, so I think it's just going to end up being a very boring Q&A um, over the top of, I don't know, some Battlefield footage. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I might get a guest appearance. I might get my wife, for example, Mrs. Cracker Fruity. I might get her to ask me the questions and we'll have a bit of a conversation. Um, and yeah, that's about it, really. Sorry if the gameplay was rubbish. It was the very last Battlefield video I had saved on my hard drive. I don't think it's a particularly good one, but there you go. Whatever. It's up. It's done. And if you're still here at this point, then you are a champion because I'm sure most people have clicked away. You get two fruits. Um, as, as a little reward. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, tune into my next videos. Do all the things I've already told you to do. Have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you next time.